As we all know, scientific experiments start with a question. And our question is, what happens to food after you swallow it? Well, to answer that, we have all the way from London Clinic, would you please welcome Dr. Adam Haycock. Hi, Roger. <laughs> welcome to Luke Eats, Dr. Adam. Now, I, I genuinely could not be more excited about this. You've got something extraordinary for us. What is it? Yeah, so this is a wireless capsule endoscope. Look at this. So this is a little capsule with a camera in it. It's got a battery and a light and a transmitter, and it takes pictures inside you. And we use this in hospitals to look at things where we couldn't normally get to. So you actually use this in your normal working life? Yeah, we use this all the time to avoid uh, surgery or other difficult ways of, of getting to things. It's just so small. I can't, that is a camera. It's smaller than the nail of my thumb. It really is unbelievable. Let's just check, in fact, to see if this is, this okay, is recording. So. so if I turn it on here, Let's see if we will see my face. There we are! There's my mouth! Okay, okay it's, working. So it's that, working. That's very, very good news. That's good. Now, can I swallow it? So, remember I got you to swallow some sweets earlier? Yes. So we're going to try and see if we can see those once it's down. So okay. if you want to have another sweet. Oh, go on then. You've twisted my arm. Okay. Okay. So, off you go. Straight away! Then you can swallow it, yeah? Right, okay, here we go. All right. In fact, I've got to do an official warning here because please don't go swallowing anything you shouldn't do because it can be very dangerous. You can choke. I've got a medical expert here and this is medical equipment. Right. Wish me luck. Go on, Rad. Good, okay. So you swallowed it. We're so down. It should be... We're down. It's going down your food pipe in okay. your gullet. We don't know if we're going to get shots of this. Now, I'm just going to leave you guys hanging because we need to find out, first of all, the journey that the pill will take. Where will it go? So all food you eat, there's four stages of digestion. Ooh. So the first stage is chewing it in the mouth and that breaks it up into little pieces. Right. It then gets swallowed and it goes down the esophagus, the gullet or the food pipe, into the stomach. And there it gets churned around and acid and enzymes help break it up even more. And then the nutrients start to get absorbed. It then passes into the small intestine where most of the nutrients get absorbed and then it moves through into the large bowel or the colon where the moisture comes out and then the rest of it gets excreted as waste, as poo. As poo. Right, it is now time to find out if we've actually got shots of the inside of my stomach. Let's have a look, let's have a look. There we go. So that is... One we've got it! We've actually... That is my stomach live! You are seeing it! I'm not going to lie to you, it looks a bit strange. <laughs> Let me turn it back on. What on earth are we looking at here, Adam? I can't but Look at that! So in there, you've got uh, some of the folds of your stomach. There's a bit of the water that you swallowed. Hopefully we'll be able to see one of the sweets that you swallowed earlier. Wow. Look at that! So I've swallowed lots of gummy bears. When I say lots, I obviously mean one or two, one only or one two, or two. Yeah. But that is, that's So that's genuine. moving down into the far part of your stomach. Okay, now, look, there you go, there, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a gummy bear. There's a gummy! Yes! It's time for me to say, Mum, I've got a camera in my tummy. <laughs> I'm very happy indeed, Adam. So, Adam, what would food, how long would food normally take to go down and turn into poo? It varies from individual to individual. It can be from a few hours to days to weeks sometimes. Weeks? Yeah. And then what happens if it was, say, a liquid? How long would a liquid take? So, the liquids take exactly the same journey, okay. uh, but they can do it quicker. So, uh, if you want to have a milk. sip of some of the milk. Right, this is going down as well. I could not be more excited. We're seeing my insides on TV. There you go. So there's the milk coming in. What? That quick? There Don't you say go. yeah. That's my tummy you're talking about there, Lindsay Russell. Oh my god. So obviously we're seeing this after just a couple of minutes, really. Yeah. What would we see if we were to let it go after maybe an hour? So uh, after an hour, the food and the liquids will move out through uh, the stomach into the small bowel. You probably get better views there with these uh, little capsules because actually they're meant for seeing into sort of smaller uh, spaces than the stomach. The stomach's quite a big bag, so you don't get that great pictures, although we're not doing bad there. We're not uh, doing badly so at you, all. You would see uh, the lining of the small bowel, you might see uh, the little things called villi, which uh, make up part of the intestines and you get really, really good pictures. Well, Dr. Adam, it's genuinely been an absolute pleasure and a Blue Peter first to actually see the inside of somebody's body live on the show. Thank you so much for being here. That's Just good. one question, how do I get it out? Ah, uh, well, you need to wait a few hours for that and you might need some of this. Ah.